This presentation is all about eigenvectors and eigenvalues. And this is all going to revolve around the Intel Math Kernel Library, which is a phenomenal uh, library if you haven't taken a look at it. This may be your, your first introduction. So what we're going to do is talk about eigenvectors and eigenvalues, but first we'll start with um, a definition. So let's suppose that A is some sort of matrix. And it could be any size, n by n, we'll say. Now suppose we have some sort of scalar value, lambda. And normally this will be referred to as an eigenvalue. So let's say we have some non-zero vector, x prime. It would be an eigenvector if a times x prime equals lambda x prime. Okay? We say that vector x prime is an eigenvector of A corresponding to lambda. So what would you use these eigenvectors for? Well, there are quite a few uh, uses, actually. In fact, you know, this is just a really small list. Stability analysis, vibration analysis, atomic orbital orbitals. The two things I normally use it for is facial recognition and computer vision. Finally, some people use it for, for matrix diagonalization. But that's just a very small list there. It, it just goes on. So those are the most common applications of eigenvectors, but there are quite a few others too. So here's an example. Here we have this vector um, 2, 1, and A is 3, 2, 3, negative 2, and the eigenvalue is 4. You can see that where it says lambda equals 4. So what we want to know is A times X, does that equal lambda times X? So that's what we're looking for. And to find out, we just need to set up the problem and do a little math. Okay, so on the left side you'll see a times x, and we want to know does that equal the eigenvalue 4 times x. Okay, so we just multiply things out. On the left, uh, a times x is going to be 3 times 2 plus 2 times 1, 3 times 2 plus negative 2 times 1. And we want to know does that equal 8, 4. We just reduce this, and you can see that both matrices so that lambda value or the eigenvalue, so with respect to that lambda value or eigenvalue, x is an eigenvector to a. So let's go ahead and go through one of these Intel samples. And by the way, with, the, with MKL, Intel provides a ton of samples, so you should have no problem figuring out how to do any of this stuff. But let's take a look. Um, this is going to be the example. This would be uh, the matrix A. Again, here they've reminded us of what we're looking for. Okay. And here are the eigenvalues we're going to go ahead and. So, we come through here, we do a little bit of setup. Okay, this is just the variables and objects we're going to use. And here we've got a complex array with A. Okay, those are the values we're going to feed. We calculate the vectors, check for an error, and simply print out the results. Let's see if we can run this thing now. So there you have it. Uh, it shows you the eigenvalues, shows you the, the left eigenvectors and the right eigenvectors. So it's pretty easy to use Intel's math kernel library to do things similar to this.